Hi everyone, back with another update on Spider-Man PS4. The new up, well, Game Informer's new news came out. It was supposed to come out yesterday, but it came out today. Uh, and it's on designing the new suit. Uh, all links are in the description if you want to click on it and not watch this whole video. Okay, while in, well, this one link one link uh, so they're saying it's recognizable as the classic character but there are many elements of this design that's unique to this version yes you can see that i don't know they have to put some text down uh and then the main part of this is the video going into it. i hope maybe it'll show the classic suit in here Let me turn this up one second. Okay, because I realized you guys can hear it. So. What's classic about it? So one thing we looked at was obviously the coloring. Uh, we kept the red and the blue color. Uh, Accidentally paused the recording. They showed Amazing Spider-Man number one right there. Classic Fantastic Four cover where he tries to join the Fantastic Four for money. <laughs> Uh, coloring. Uh, we kept the red and the blue color um, because Spider-Man suit actually comes in a bunch of different colors. But if you're not a Spider-Man fan, you may not even know that. So because we want, they say his suit comes in a bunch of different colors. If you're not a fan, you wouldn't know that. And to establish our brand new. But they don't talk about how this isn't Spider-Man. This is Miles Morales. Well, Morales, Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, it doesn't matter. Universe, <laughs> we decided that it was best to just keep it red and blue because that's what most people are familiar with. And then the other thing we looked at, which was really interesting to me, was the web design um, and a web pattern. Uh, one thing they said they focused on is the web pattern because it's interesting to them. And yeah, it's neat, like Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions, all the comics. Uh, everything's parallel to each other. Okay. And one thing that's super cool about the web patterning um, in the classic suits is that it always starts in the center and it emanates outward. But then that web patterning actually continues. They said classic suit, but they showed Ultimate Spider-Man. <laughs> nah, it doesn't matter because Ultimate Spider-Man is still the classic suit. It's just a different universe. <laughs> um, on the entire design of the suit. So anywhere there's red, for example, that web patterning actually continues. So that's something that we did to continue the classic. So they like how the pattern comes from the middle of the face and then everything spreads out to the rest of the suit. I like how there's like a uh, plastic knuckle knuckle thingies to make the punches harder, I guess. Classic suit look. And then from there, we actually had to look at what would make it modern and what would make it functional. And one of the things I looked at was, you know, what a 23-year-old would be using as his inspiration when he's creating a suit. So a couple things that we did. Uh, they said what a 23, well, you can probably hear, but what a 23-year-old would be using as inspiration for a suit. We get it. His, he, they keep on saying the fact he's 23. We get it. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, it's cool, it's finally an adult Spider-Man, something not the comics, but. Because we looked at um, athletic gear. So you think about how functional athletic gear. So they're basing it off athletic gear, they're saying. There is, and like what it does to support you, um, what it does to allow flexibility. That's the same type of logic we apply to the suit. So if you look at our suit, you'll see that there's a lot of paneling that might be similar to something you find in athletic gear. Uh, there's a lot of paneling, they said. To make it more like athletic gear. More it's just like in all the movies where they add a bunch of creases to the suits. Like the X-Men movies. It was leather suits and then they went to making them look more classic. But they'd put all these random creases in the suit. That, I mean, they look cool. And they look more, uh, I don't know. They look... They look cool, but I don't get what the creases are for. We also looked, for example, at athletic shoes. So you'll see that one of the main things that's different about our suit, that's different than the classic suit, is that there's no longer a red boot. Uh, yeah, they said there's no longer a red boot. Why do you take away the red boots? <laughs> Kidding, I don't, I don't care, because it differentiates this Spider-Man from classic Spider-Man. Uh, one thing, though, they're taught... Uh, sorry, I... I'm loving this game so far. It's my most anticipated game right now. 
But one thing is they're talking about how much more practical this uh, the suit is when in the 101 questions video they ask how does he take off this suit and he says he takes off the mask and then well it's a one piece so we don't want to get into what happens after uh that's one part the classic suit actually did better because it was a two piece it was a shirt and pants so that's one practical thing about the classic suit Plus, it's even more practical because it has the boots, and if this is just all connected, then he can't slip his boots on, and aha. And that's because if you're a 23-year-old, um, you... <laughs> they keep on talking about the 23-year-old part. <laughs> Very much um, probably are not going to want to wear a red boot. It's not something that... What? <laughs> If you're 23, you don't want to wear a red boot, is what they're saying. Uh, sorry, this is kind of like a... I don't mean for this to be like a rant, but... Spider-Man's 30, and he's kept this classic suit for... His 15 years of crime fighting. In the Marvel Universe, it's been 50 years. It would be cool. We thought an athletic shoe would Over. be more appropriate for um, someone who's that age. The other thing we did was... <laughs> Of that age, they keep on going into it. The, so what they're treating it like is the classic suit is when Peter was younger, and then this is the new suit once he grows up. Just kind of weird when you re realize that... <coughs> sorry. When you realize that all other Spider-Man incarnate... <coughs> incarnations have worn the classic suit all the time, because... They're more practical. I mean, design-wise, this one might be cooler for a 23-year-old in quotes, like they keep on saying, but... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, in looking at sports gear, was just um, trying to think about the function. Yeah, but they're saying sports gear is very much their main inspiration for the suit. Functionality of the suit. And if you look at the color blocking on the suit, you'll notice that there's actually um, a lot of rationale behind it. The blue is where um, we allow flexibility for Spider-Man, so that's where he would require... So they said the blue is where flexibility is going to be, so I guess like where he moves. Uh, like here, he would move his arm here. It... And, uh, the, yeah, his legs and stuff. Part of the, the highest range of motion. Anything that's red is actually made out of a slightly thicker material, and it's what he would be using for armor reinforcement. Um, it's where he might get hit the most, or where he might be. Oh, so he's... <coughs> uh, red or white, I forgot. I got a cough. What they said is going to be armor... Reinforcement is what they said. Gosh, I really don't want this turn to turn to a reaction channel, but I'm just going over this stuff, so that makes sense. For example, scraping gets a building and he's swinging around the city. And then uh, we get to the white. And the white is... Gosh, it just looks so cool, though. I, I love the suit design. Because, kind of like the Mark IV, it's an evolution, almost, of the classic. I'll still always like the classic better, but I like how it has the whole belt going around. and. Super cool. It's actually um, like a flexible carbon fiber, so if you look really closely at it, you'll see the, the surfacing on it, and you can tell it. Flexical, flexical, flexible carbon fiber, they said. Uh, there was a beeping sound in the video in the background. That wasn't me. It's carbon fiber. That's located on his chest, it's again. on his gauntlets, and also on his feet. That's yeah, that's what really cool. Use for, again, yeah, a lot of... Uh, a lot of media almost all outside media that's not the comics spider-man has like shoe pads like the amazing spider-man movies uh the new show called marvel spider-man this game but here's another thing where comic spider-man is almost more practical because yes it probably hurts much more and they're called boots so it might have something but since it's a uh, thin fabric that's how he sticks to walls with his feet. That that's how they explained it in the comics. So that's another thing. Then how, <coughs> how does he stick to buildings in this game with his feet? You know, he's fighting. That's where he went reinforcement, and he's blocking. Um, that's sorry, I'm back. It cut off for a second. Uh, this license plate says Exclusier on it. I just noticed, and this picture is amazing. All the you could freeze anything 
in game. This is in game, and it could be a wallpaper. So a lot of effort went into you know figuring out the rationale behind the suit. The very first time we worked on. Sorry, my dog's barking. His, uh, his anatomy. Uh, we actually had sculpted him as like a, a gangly teenager. What? Sorry, I had to pause and then play again because there's going to be piano playing in the background. Sorry, anyway, keep on going. Oh, the, where I was. The teen, why were they starting with the teenage body build again? It's Spider-Man. He, he was only a teen... Well, he was only in high school for like 16 issues out of 799. It just became, I think. Uh... And that's not including all the other comics he's appeared in. Anyway, it doesn't matter, but it's, I'm glad they changed it to regular Spider-Man. Right, so he was really lanky, he was a bit skinny. Um, he... Oh, he... Oh, they were basing it off Ultimate Spider-Man. They said lanky and skinny. You probably heard that, but I don't know if you can hear it because it doesn't record audio from the computer. But I guess kind of like... Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man tie-in games, maybe? It looked kind of awkward, but when we were um, playing with that model in game, he didn't look right, because again, he's supposed to be older. He... Yeah, they said he didn't look right. It kind of looked awkward when they were playing with the model in game. Yeah. If you can hear what she's saying, I'm probably just repeating themselves. I... He's supposed to be more confident, so it didn't really look right. And then we went the other way, and we actually started making him look more like a linebacker or a football player. And then you have this really buff kind of... So then they tried making him more buff, they said, and I bet what they're gonna say after this is, so then they found something in the middle. Uh, but I guess more buff, kind of like the uh, John Romata Sr. look, maybe? He's not that buff, but that's what Spider-Man in the comics kind of look like that's what Tobey Maguire kind of looked like uh, what they're gonna say then they found something in the middle I bet kind of heavy set person like swaying through the city and that didn't look right either so we finally settled on something that was a little bit more um, fluid uh, more like a fighter's build and that's what yeah, they I hope I'm not repeating what they're saying every time fighter's build what they see our spider-man someone who's more competent um, but again more experienced so Spider-Man is really interesting to animate because unlike a lot of superheroes who might fly, for example, or maybe has a super vehicle, he's basically the vehicle, right? So it. Okay, so that's cool. He's gonna have a bunch of different animations, probably. I hope more than the Amazing Spider-Man games. I saying the Amazing Spider-Man every time I talk about those games is getting annoying. Uh, I'll just say TSM games. It all comes down to what he's able to do um, when he's swinging. And there might be the idea of like, well, you can get on a mocap stage, you know, put a stuntman in a rope and just have him swing around and it's going to look awesome. But that's not actually true because we actually did some funny things. For example, we had the stuntman try to crawl around as if he was stuck to a wall. And it looked cool in real life because a real human being was doing it. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like uh, the gameplay they're showing, when you walk on walls, it's going to be your choice. In the TSM games, it was just part of swinging when you walked on the wall, so you couldn't really control it as much, and Spider-Man is much toward the center of the screen, and he isn't taking up the whole screen, so you can actually see what you're doing, unlike the other games. Yeah, but when you transfer that into CG, it actually looks a bit odd, so we actually have to think about um, like when we would actually use mocap and when it made sense. For example, if he's on the ground and throwing a punch, that would make sense. But when he's swinging, that's not necessarily something that you can mocap. So that was something that we would hand key um, and maybe use a little bit mocap, but um, we basically would have to craft that ourselves. So everything, uh, all the swinging, they animated by themselves with no capture technology, which is cool. Well, um, and add a little stylization to make it look like he's actually swinging. And then the other really cool thing about our animation is that our Spider-Man is obviously a more experienced Spider-Man. He's not- <laughs> They can- They cannot stop talking about how he's a more experienced Spider-Man. <laughs> go back into- if. If you go back into the later years, how much more years of experience does he actually have? In recent media, yes, more experience, but uh, 90s, or all the shows, movies, 
Well, Toby Maguire was like, okay, bye. The video's about to run out of recording.